Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 27 of Java for Tester series. That is escape characters in Java. So what are escape characters in Java? So before understanding what are escape characters in Java, okay, we have to first know that there are there's something known as literals in Java. There are different types of literals, guys. At a high level, I will explain. So one is numeric literals. Okay, one is numeric literals. Second one is Boolean literals. Character literals. Then we have something known as uh, string literals. Okay, and then we have something known as escape characters, which are also literals, guys. Okay, escape characters are also one of the types of literals in Java. To understand uh, these literals and uh, the different types in detail, you can watch my previous video, guys. In the previous video, I already explained what exactly are literals and what are the different types of literals and subtypes of literals and in this video session okay i'm only going to focus on the one type of literals that is escape character literals okay what are escape character literals they are literals okay they are one type of literals escape characters are one type of literals in java okay escape characters are one type of literals in java okay this is the thing then escape character literals can be used with string literals now we have the escape character literals and other side we have string literals right there are two literals here if you if i select this okay there are five literals here literal types here and in that escape character literal is one type and string literal is another type so escape character where exactly we use this where exactly we use this escape character literals in java is a question so where are we going to use we are going to use this escape character literals with strings guys okay with strings we are going to use with string instead of strings you can say that with string literals we are going to use okay how actually the string literals look like for example if i say okay if i write this uh, sequence of characters inside this uh, starting and ending double quotes it becomes a string literal okay this becomes a string literal and uh, escape characters can be used with this string literals only okay anything that is surrounded by this double quotes okay is nothing but a string literal fine so now i am going to explain the uh, the different types of escape character literals okay so different types of escape character literals in java so so far okay for my understanding to my understanding so far these are the different types of escape character literals in java let me write down one of the another one first one is slash t okay backslash this is a backslash case okay forward slash looked like this okay which will be bending into the forward direction whereas if something is a slash which is bending to the okay other direction okay backward direction then this is going to be called as a backslash okay symbol is nothing but backslash symbol okay if you say backslash t okay this is one of the character literal in java okay backslash t is one of the escape character escape character literal okay these are the different escape character literals in java guys backslash t is one of them then followed by we have something known as backslash n 
this is another uh, escape character literal in java and then you have something known as uh, there are many guys let's say this one backslash double quote okay i will explain you the purpose like why we have to use backslash t where we have to use backslash n where we have to use backslash double quote okay and we have something known as backslash single quote okay after backslash double quote we have something known as backslash single quote then we have something known as uh, back double slash okay double backslash double backslash like this this is single backslash this is double backslash and then we have something known as backslash r r okay uh, backslash r is done then we have something known as backslash let me give some more space here we have something known as backslash unicode okay backslash unicode then we have something known as backslash r is done we have something known as backslash f i guess yes backslash f and uh, another one is backslash b so as in the order backslash b and another one is backslash f okay so like this we have different types of escape character literals in java how many are there one two three four five six seven eight almost nine are there okay so there are nine uh, different types of escape character literals in java that i'm going to practically demonstrate now okay how to use uh, backslash t escape character in java along with the string literals we have to use this uh, escape characters with uh, which literals string literals escape character is also a literal and uh, which need to be used with string literals okay and these are the different uh, types of escape character literals in java starting for from backslash t to backslash f let me practically demonstrate each and every type of escape character literals in java in detail so let's start with the first one that is backslash t for that i will say system dot out dot print ln inside this print ln okay i am going to provide a string literal okay i am going to provide a string literal guys okay which starts with double quotes and ends with double quotes there are different ways you can use a string literals guys for example if you say string a is equal to and this side you have to provide nothing but a string literal for example here if i say arun motori my name okay this arun motori is nothing but a data or value which is nothing but a string literal okay you are assigning a string literal which is surrounded string literals are generally the sequence of characters surrounded by the starting and ending double quotes so this can be assigned to a variable this is one purpose and uh, other place you can uh, use this uh, string literals is like uh, system dot out dot print ln inside this print ln method you have to provide starting double quotes and ending double quote you can type any text here box dot com or motori okay the software testing tutorials like this you can type like, type like anything okay the sequence of text starts from here to here guys and uh, it starts it's inside this uh, starting double quote and ending double quote and from here to here is nothing but a string literal again okay here we have used string literal in a different way here we have used string literal in a different way this string literal will be printed into the output because of this print ln method whereas this string literal is going to be stored into this variable a like that guys whatever is there that you have provided between the double quotes okay that becomes the string literal okay this is also a string literal inside the 
print ln method okay so let me remove this one okay this is just for showing you what exactly a string literal is and how how it how many ways we can use that and all okay let's go with the system dot out dot print ln and here we have some string literal inside this one okay now guys uh, what if i say after this qfox dot com what if i say slash t okay like this slash t and some other place also i will give slash t okay like this at two places i have given slash t here so what does this slash t stands for before i demonstrate here slash t stands for a tab okay so what what will happen here is for example let me open a notepad like this in normal notepad and let me type some text like qfox.com and here if i press space bar key on my keyboard you see how much space it is coming only this space is adding after qfox.com but what if i press if i press tab button okay tab keyboard button on my keyboard you see i am getting a long space right the cursor is going here if i type here it will start from here because of the long press if i only say space and start typing it will be like this only this space has been added by the space bar but if i press same thing if i press the tab button on my keyboard and start typing you see this is a space that got added by the tab key button on my keyboard the same thing will be done by the slash t so it acts like as a tab okay wherever i provided this slash t a bigger space will be added between this qfox.com and this hyphen and all those okay for that i have written it hyphen t hyphen t okay many places have written let's see mm, okay so let me run this right click run as java application you see how much space is getting added i have provided this for, uh, backslash t before this hyphen symbol here and as you can see because of this hyphen t that is backslash sorry because of that backslash t you can see that this much space has been added that means a tab space has been added here also another tab space has been added okay so without this uh, forward slash uh, without this backslash t if i run the same statement i will get a different output there will not be that much space you see the nominal space is there here okay that's how guys by using this uh, escape character that is uh, backslash t a tab space will be added okay and printed in the output console and we have used this back, uh, backslash t with which uh, literal guys you have used inside this string literal okay we have to use escape characters with which literals we have to use them with string literals the way i demonstrated with the help of this uh, backslash t that is the first escape character that i demonstrated so far now let's go with the second escape character literal in java that is nothing but new line okay backslash n stands for new line what if if i specify here backslash n and here also if i specify something like backslash n okay what will happen a new line okay so when this print statement is printing this it will print up to here in the output console after that it will the curse uh, the the control will go to the next line and in the next line this text will be printed in the output console and after that again it will the control will go to the next line and in the third line the, this particular text will be printed okay so instead of printing the complete earlier the state, complete statement got printed in the same line now if i run this right click run as java application you can see that till this part okay it got printed here then from here to here it got printed here okay in the new line so backslash and what it will do it will take your control to the new line okay this escape character works like this this one again in the new line okay so this is how guys we have to use uh, the second escape character literal in java that is backslash n for taking the string literal control to the new line now the third uh, escape character literal that i would like to demonstrate here in this video session is backslash double quotes where exactly we have to use let me explain let's remove all this stuff okay and uh, let's keep up to here okay now guys i got a requirement if i run this if i run if i run this i got a normal output qfox.com i fund the software testing tutorials 
but my requirement is to okay uh, print double quotes here okay uh, instead of this normal qfox.com i would like to surround this text with double quotes and print it here okay that means this qfox.com should be printed along with the double quotes that's what my requirement is so for that i thought like uh, okay since i have to add the double quotes i just thought like let's add the double quotes here okay so now if i run this i cannot run because i am already getting an error because you cannot surround by double quotes guys so it's giving some error it cannot be resolved it's saying okay so here so what's happening uh, it's it's not working because till here is one string literal again we don't know what exactly qfox.com is from here to here is another string literal okay java is treating like this guys okay so from this this uh, double quotes to this double quotes java is treating as one string literal and java is getting confused what exactly is this qfox.com it's a variable or something we don't know it's not a is not declared anywhere it's just thinking like that and again java treats from here to here as another string literal because this it treats like this is a starting string literal and this is ending string literal but our main intention was to put this qfox.com text and print it with double quotes this process is not working it's giving some errors so for that guys java has given one escape character literal in java that is a backslash double quotes okay instead of providing this uh, double quotes like this you have to use this backslash double quote okay here instead of normal double quote you have to say backslash double quote okay should give backslash double quote if you want to get this double quote printed in the output console okay then you have to use instead of normal double quote you have to use backslash double quote here also backslash double quote you have to provide okay now if i run this the error got resolved you see okay right click run as java application you see whatever the output we are expecting we wanted this qfox.com text to be printed along with this starting and ending double quotes this was only possible with the help of this backslash double quote okay backslash double quote escape character in java okay this is double quote for double quotes okay for getting the double quotes okay so no place there so i am just moving it here this is for the double quotes okay now another one we have is that can you guess what is this this is for single quote simple okay if you want the single quote to be printed in the output console you have to use this uh, back instead of normal uh, single quote we have to use backslash single quote okay so let me show you here but guys it works without also okay there may be some situations where you cannot use a uh, single quote in that case only you have to use that uh, okay so for example here if i add this uh, single quote before this qfox.com and a single quote after this qfox.com and if i run this this works fine okay i'm not getting an error and if i run this run as java application you see whatever the output i am expecting it's coming okay qfox.com is getting printed along with the single quotes working okay, fine but guys if you are facing any problems by with this approach okay in anywhere not here guys here it is working fine but in real time or somewhere wherever you are working if you get a requirement where uh, this single quote is not working because of something you are getting some error simply use backslash single quote okay this also represents the single quote only now run this this will also give the same output okay you see whatever the output we we got has uh, getting display okay and of course uh, this is the best way to actually print the single quotes in the output console okay so instead of providing the normal single quote in the this string literals you just provide the backslash single quote okay that will be the best now double uh, double backslash double backslash okay this is for single single backslash okay if your requirement is to print a single uh, if your requirement is to add a single backslash then you have to use double backslash okay let me explain you what exactly i mean for example guys if i if i want to okay uh, if i let's see go to one folder xpc okay some c drive uh, some users some motori okay i want to copy this path 
C user Sarun M is the path. I want to print it here. For example, sorry. So what is the path here, guys? Uh, if I select this C colon slash user slash single slash Arun M. So I'll give the same thing here. C colon slash. Then we have something known as users. Backslash Arun M. This was a path, right? I want to print this path. The exact path of this folder I want to print. This path I want to print. But when I provide this path inside this double quotes and try to print it, I'm getting an error, guys. It says invalid escape sequence. It's not allowing you to provide this path. I cannot run also because I'm already getting one error here saying invalid escape sequence. It, uh, it's saying that instead of this single backslash, use double slash, it's saying, okay? To represent this single backslash, use this uh, double backslash, it is saying. So for that, guys, what I will do here is, I will simply add double backslash here, okay? Now the error got resolved, guys. Now when I print it, do you think that this double backslash will be printed in the output? No, guys, only single backslash will be printed. Even though you provided a double backslash here, this is nothing but it will act as an escape character and it will only print the single backslash. You see, rightly run as Java application. You see, whatever the path we want to get, using the single slashes that we got, okay? Here we have to write double backslash, otherwise Java will not allow you, okay? Single backslash, Java will not allow, it will give error. So we have to mandatorily use the double backslash, then only we'll get this output, okay? Whatever the path we got is the correct path. So that is nothing but the single backslash case. Then we have something known as, okay, uh, backslash R. This is like, uh, what do you call, uh return return okay press return key on your keyboard enter key like enter it will act as a enter key okay enter key so guys so let's me show you one example for what exactly i mean by this return here okay for that let me open a notepad and uh, let me type some text into this notepad file this is a notepad file guys and let me type some text let's say qfox.com after that, if I press enter key on my keyboard, that is nothing but return key also, okay? Enter key can also be called as return key, okay? So generally everyone will have the enter uh, text on their enter keyboard key, okay? If I press the enter keyboard key, after typing this qfox.com text in this notepad, if I press the enter key on my keyboard, what's happening guys? The control has been taken to the next line and if I type some text in the next line, the text will be typed in the next line. If I, again, if I press enter key, Okay, the control will be taken to the next line and I have to type software. You see, this is what is happening, happening, right? Tutorials. The same thing will happen with the, if you use backslash R, okay, escape character using the string literals. For example, if I use something like this, qfox.com backslash R, then I will say Arun Motori, then backslash R, the software testing, tutorials so wherever i have used this backslash or that will be that will what this is an escape character guys uh, which is one of the types of escape character literal in java and uh, when this particular statement is executed so here after after printing this qfox.com text the enter or return key will be pressed on your keyboard it will simulate that okay then uh, of course the control will taken to the next line because of uh, the pressing of that enter key simulation of that and then this text will be printed again, the return key or enter key will be printed, then this text will be printed, okay? So let's run this to see the same thing happening. You see, whatever we expected has happened. After qfox.com, the enter or return key got simulated and uh, executed. So again, in the next line it got printed, and in the next line it got printed. So that's about the return, okay? Simulation of the return key by using this uh, backslash or escape character literal in Java. The next one is Unicode, okay? Unicode, we can also execute or uh, print some Unicode letters. For example, guys, for example, let me go to one website. So let's Google search for Unicode character list. Okay, just search for Unicode character list. And uh, you'll be presented with a list of Unicode characters, kind of Wikipedia link. Just click on this link and uh, scroll down a bit uh, as you can see some tables here 
and let me choose one kind of symbol let's say uh let's scroll down i want to print this uh copyright symbol this is a copyright sign okay this is a copyright sign copyright how to get this copyright printed here do you have any keyboard key having that copyright symbol no there is no keyboard key on your keyboard having this copyright symbol guys so there what we can use do is for example i would like to uh, say something like uh, um, uh, let's say xyz then i have i want to print the symbol like copyright symbol here at this place of text copyright okay copyright 2009 i want to print this text okay xyz company copyrighted with 2009 year instead of this copyright text i want to print the exact copyright symbol how to get that how to do that for that we have to use this this escape character known as backslash following the unique codes symbol okay let uh, unique codes uh, code let me show you when i google search for this unicode uh, characters list in java i got this wikipedia page uh, which is giving me the this particular codes for this unicode for this for getting this symbol we have to use this unicode okay so u followed by 00a9 so what i will do here is at this place i will say backslash u and other thing is 00a9 you can give in small letter also u 00a9 okay yes do something like this now when i run this right click run as java application you see xyz in place of this escape character we got this copyright symbol okay then we got the 2009 so like this guys this escape character uh, for printing uh, using uh, for printing the required symbols using the given unique code okay okay required symbols you can say for getting the required symbols we can use this kind of approach which uh, the symbols are not there on my keyboard guys uh, they may be there they may not be there but if you want to get such symbols you can even use a unicode guys okay every letter has a unicode for example if i go here uh, here if you see here number one has a unicode uh, and uh, capital a has a unicode like that everything will have a unicode okay you can use a unicode in place of this a also instead of directly giving the a which is already there on a keyboard you can use a unicode also that will also work fine then the last two things are like this is for backspace case okay so i tried this backspace and it's not working guys. okay not working but uh, what exactly it has to do is for example this is a notepad and if i have used for example if here if if i have used something like a b c d okay and uh, then if i say here somewhere if i say a backslash and uh, when i run this i'm not getting the expected output okay i'm getting some question mark symbol here okay which is not correct which is not correct but uh, what exactly you need to be expected here is which is not working now okay which is not working for me but uh, according to the documentation of java this backslash how it should work is if i try to print a b c d but since i provided backslash b okay before uh, or just after b i provided here is a place where backslash b is there right so what exactly the java will do here is it will simulate the back backspace button on your keyboard you have some backspace button on your keyboard when what will happen when i press backspace let me press backspace uh, key here you see b got disappeared okay b got removed that means it will clear the remaining stuff or sometimes you have something if you do that it will clear the spaces that's how the backspace button will work the same thing need to be simulated by back, backslash b but it's not working due to some xyz reasons okay now the other one is though it's not working the purpose was for the backspace guys okay it's not working though then backslash f this is like form field okay they call it as form field this escape character is called as uh, form field and this is also not working guys this is uh, similar to backslash b this particular thing is also not working but how it should work let me explain what exactly is form field and all okay for example here if i say 
uh, let's say if, here if I say qf of dot com, then if I give something like backslash f, and then if I give something like uh, arun motori, okay, what should be the output? What should be the output? So the output should be like this, guys. First, it has to print this uh, first text that is qfox dot com. Till here, it has to print here qfox dot com. Then it has to simulate the enter key on my keyboard. That means the cursor will go to the next line. Return key or enter key on my keyboard. It should simulate. Then, guys, after that, it has to go till this point. Okay. Then after the ending of this, okay, uh, like uh, if you see this at the end of this, in the next line, it should start. Printing around motor. The output should come like this. QFOX around motor. This kind of structure it should come. Okay. For this, it has to press enter key, similar to the enter key. Then keep on pressing the uh, space bar or something and move here till this text is completed uh, when you check. And then after here in the second line, it has to print around motor like this. This kind of structure should come. But guys, this is also not working. So if I run this, right click run as Java application, you see I'm getting again question mark symbol. That is, this particular thing is not working. Okay. Fine. So these are the different escape character literals in Java. We don't have any more. Okay. So these are the different escape character literals and how to use them in the Java programming along with the string literals. Fine. So that's it. In the next video session, I'll explain how to use this underscore symbol with the numerical literals and its purpose of using with numerical why to use this underscore with numerical literals and all those things I'm going to explain in the next video session. So that's it guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.